17 countries, 21 cities. So it has blurred a little bit, but I did, uh, I was in uh, Bergen, Norway, and we went into a library. So beautiful, you know. Yeah. Some um, interesting, I think that one in Bergen, we got in, I got in, but um, it was only for residents. Oh, you couldn't walk in? I walked into the entryway, and that was it. So maybe that's, I didn't ask. Well, new business, uh, Anthony sent out, Director Austin, sent out about the Wilmet sewer, sewage fee. Mm -hmm. And said that we could discuss it now, and stated a meeting. Was there any? Did everybody see it? Mm -hmm. Okay. I was. I was surprised. Is it um, grassland gets assessed a fee just as much? I mean, I saw the park yesterday, like one hundred twenty thousand dollars or something. A lot of parking lot space too. That's that's covered in that. So that's kind of how that's calculated. Yeah. Um, it's my understanding that the figures that appear on that slide that that's in question. So slide 27 um, on their stormwater um, presentation from their June 13th meeting um, indicates what um, the local government agencies that are tax capped what their fees would be, um, and those are estimated fees. It's my understanding that those <coughs> estimated fees are based on square footage of their property and that there is discussion about exempting permeable services. So grass um, fields and so on would be a permeable surface that would hopefully be exempted just as much as our parking lot would be eligible for yeah. exemption. Mm -hmm. And then yeah. from what was stated though, so if there are exemptions for the, for the parking lot or for the park district, the net becomes a, a bigger burden for the taxpayer in, in Wilmette, correct? So it's, so it's kind of a, um, it's a, it's a tightrope Walking situation where, where it certainly might help the the, the one one entity's budget at the same time um, have a negative impact on the whole community. And I don't I don't think that's no? really true. Okay, that's what it, yeah. we any fees we pay are going to come out of the taxes that we collect from residents. Mm -hmm. The same is true for each of the other bodies. There is possibly some exception with respect to the park district because they their budget is more user fee driven than any of the yeah. other uh, governmental their units. Their going to be huge. But the money is going to be collected from residents one way or another right. to cover most of those fees. Whether it's being paid directly to the village or being paid to the village by us or is the park like district or the school estimate. districts estimate. is really so not going to make very much difference in the long run to the resident who's getting a tax bill that includes those expenses in the budgeting that every municipal body has to incorporate in their planning, their long-range planning. So, you know, our burden of $4,000, which are 4200 or whatever the yeah. final figure is, is going to go into our expenses. And that will go into our budget. Mm -hmm. The same is true for the 100000 okay. plus that the park district is going to be built, and similarly for the school district. So whatever those costs are, the residents are going to pay them, whether they pay them in one piece to the village or in little pieces from all the other bodies, isn't going to make much difference because they're going to get one tax bill. Right. Okay. It's just Thank going you. to be how those costs are distributed across the various entities. Um, I don't know that it makes very much difference whether it's divided up into all those little pieces or not. From the point of view of the resident, they're going to get a bill for their own res their own residential property and they're going to get a tax bill. And that's how they're going to how the village is going to cover those costs. And how many pieces it's chopped up into isn't going to make very much difference in your tax bill. Right. It'll be the same sum. Exactly. Yeah. It'll be huge. I mean, compared to what we're paying now. Well, well, thank because, you. I mean, but well, if we, yeah. it will be larger, probably substantially larger, because each one of those tax bills, the for the li for the library, for the park district, for the village, will get divided up among the residents, and then the residents still have to pay an extra fee for their own property. Mm -hmm. So this is multiple. well, it's thirty-year bonds that have to be paid off somehow. 
they're going to be paid off by taxpayers. I know. I'm just saying that if this is something that's coming that a lot of people are not expecting, and it's going to be bigger than most people would expect. If anybody so. would like to attend the meeting where the village will be discussing it, the next meeting is September 23rd at 7 p.m. And just that first question I had, when we wanted to sort of make sure that permeable pavement will get an exemption of some kind, because it's the right thing to do, mm -hmm. is, is it your sense that's happening? Yes. Okay. Great. But I guess what you sent out to us is an estimate only. It's not the exact right. it's, figure. It's an estimate, it's and it does not include the, the rebate for the permeable Great. services. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, it's going to be less than, than the 4200 but I, I can't yeah. tell you what it is. Mm -hmm. Great. Thank you. Any other new business? Is there a motion to adjourn? I'll motion to adjourn. Second. Okay, Stuart. Well, <laughs> motion to adjourn. And Trustee Barshi says seconded it. Roll call? Mm -hmm. Trustee Riddle. Trustee Johnson. Aye. Trustee Rogers. Yes. Trustee Wolf. Yes. And Trustee McDonald. Aye. Trustee Barshi. Yes. Trustee Fishman. Yes. Can you two, can you stay for a sec while we sure. schedule? Mm -hmm. Thank you, Steve. Thank you.